The IMR-2 combat engineering vehicle was developed as a replacement for the original IMR. It was accepted to service in 1980. Full rate production commenced in 1982. The first production model was the IMR-2M. Until 1990 a total of 659 IMR-2 vehicles and its improved variants were produced. Currently the IMR-2 is in service with the Russian army as well as some other countries. It saw action during the Soviet war in Afghanistan and both Chechen wars. It was also used during Chernobyl NPP accident relief operation. The IMR-2 is based on the T-72 main battle tank chassis. Its predecessor, the original IMR was based on the T-54-T-55 medium tanks. Turret of the T-72 has been removed and new rotating superstructure has been fitted. A multi-purpose telescopic arm is mounted on the superstructure, which can be fitted with various attachments, including manipulator and a bucket. The arm can reach over 8M and has a payload capacity of 2T. In traveling order the telescopic arm is traversed to the rear. There is also a front-mounted dozer blade. It can be used in a V-shape or straight configuration. The dozer blade is used for earth-moving operations, grading, road-clearing filling ditches and obstacle removal. It can follow terrain contours. During earth-working operations the dozed blade has a 200 to 250M slash H capacity. When not in use the blade is folded upwards. This combat engineering vehicle is operated by a crew of two. The IMR-2 series combat engineering vehicles are well protected and can operate on the battlefield under fire. Vehicle is fitted with NBC protection and automatic fire suppression systems. This combat engineering vehicle is armed with a 12.7mm machine gun for self-defense. The original IMR-2M is powered by a V84-1 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 840 horsepower. The same engine is used on the later production models of the T-72 main battle tank. With preparation this combat engineering vehicle can ford water obstacles up to 5M deep. During production the IMR-2 had several changes. It was fitted with mine clearing plows, extended mine clearing charges and other combat engineer equipment. Since 1982 an improved IMR-2 M1 had been produced. It was fitted with extra protection for hydraulic system, however mine clearing charges were removed. The machine gun was also removed. A slightly revised IMR-2 M2 was produced between 1987 and 1990. The latest version is the IMR-2 MA. It is also referred as the IMR-3M. Its production commenced in 1996. This engineering vehicle is based on the T90 MBT chassis. It carries the same engineering equipment.